Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Kyle. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. What I want to do with this video is going over the controversial topic of can my truck tow this camper or can my truck tow this trailer in particular. Now, what I want to do with this video is kind of go over how I derive if it is safe or if it's feasible for a certain truck or vehicle to tow a certain type of trailer or a camper. Now, full disclosure here, I am not a professional. Take this information with what you want. I don't take any responsibility. Uh, however, I think most of this information is going to be pretty relevant to you. And if you just kind of do the math yourself, it's really not rocket science. It's just going through and taking the time to do it. Now, in this particular situation, I'm using my own personal vehicle, which is a 2018 Ford F-150 with the 2.7 liter EcoBoost. It does have four wheel drive and is the super cab model. So I'll be basing all of my weight ratings and capacities off of that vehicle in particular. My camper is a 2019 Jayco 212 QB. I'll also be taking all that information from my trailer in particular and showing those numbers to make sure that we're all safe and sound uh, when we're towing. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this video and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this video. So to reiterate again, I have a 2018 F-150 and a 2019 Jayco camper. What I did was I got the payload and the gross vehicle weight rating directly off of the sticker on the inside of my door jam on the driver's door. Okay, get that right off the truck or your vehicle. The gross combined weight rating and the max towing, you will have to go to the manufacturer's website to get those numbers. Now, the reason why is because, for one, the gross combined weight rating, that'll be important later on in the video, and I'll explain what that is. The max towing is not what you see in the commercials. They always advertise, you know, 12,000, 13,000 pound towing rating. Well, yeah, but it's a very specific model. You have to go off of exactly what your model of truck is down to the wheelbase, what engine it has, what gearing it has. There's a few factors in there to get to that number. For me in particular, my tow rating on my truck is 7,600 pounds. I got this curb weight by taking the gross vehicle weight rating, minusing my payload, that gives you your curb weight. So this is a full tank of fuel, ready to go, just no occupants. That's what my truck weighs sitting in the driveway, 4,904 pounds. Again, that'll be important later on. I did the same thing on my trailer. So on my camper, I found out what the hitch weight was. There's a little yellow sticker on the side of every camper. Uh, in my particular situation here, it's 460 pounds. It also gives me the dry weight, which is 4,340 pounds. What I did was I ended up finding what the ratio of weight to hitch weight when it came off the factory floor, okay? So that gave me it's 10.6% of the weight of the trailer gets transferred onto the hitch. That's gonna be important to know later on again. The cargo capacity of my trailer is 1,160 pounds and the gross vehicle weight rating of my camper is 5,500 pounds. Now, that's a lot of numbers, but I tell you what, if you have the numbers in front of you, going through and doing the math makes this very, very, very easy and simple, okay? Now, the first thing that you're gonna wanna figure out here is what your camper will actually weigh when you go camping. Knowing your dry weight does you absolutely no good other than driving it from the dealer's lot to your driveway. Because the minute you start putting stuff in there, obviously that number is gonna start increasing. So that being said, what I did is I actually went into my camper, it's where I'm shooting this video from, and I found out exactly how much weight everything is inside of my camper, to the best of my ability, okay? So I know that a full tank of fresh water, if I were to fill it up at home and drive to the campsite, it's 399 pounds. There's a sticker on the outside of the camper as well as on the inside of my door that tells me that information. Again, it's pretty easy to do. You take your fresh water capacity tank, 
Water, I believe, is eight pounds a gallon. So you take that, you can find that information out yourself or on the sticker from the factory, it tells you that information too. In food, I kind of looked at this as a holistic, whether it's food that you're eating or, you know, drink. Uh, we figure we bring about 40 pounds worth of consumables with us uh, for like a weekend camping trip. Do we go through it all? No, we always overpack, but it's good to err on the side of caution. Uh, but that's about what we bring. Clothing's about the same 40 pounds between my fiance and I. Uh, and miscellaneous cargo. This is one where you can really get kind of lost in the weeds. What I did was I actually opened up uh, every cabinet door in every drawer in my camper and went through and just kind of added up in my head you know this drawer weighs about 10 pounds this drawer weighs about five pounds and kind of did that over the entire camper don't forget to add in tvs if you've added tvs into your camper um you know that kind of stuff but for me in particular in, in my situation it's about 260 pounds worth of items in the camper and I gave us a, a buffer of about 40 pounds if I didn't estimate correctly on the weight. So taking that, I added it all up. It's 779 pounds that I have of items within my camper. What I did then was I took the dry weight, which is from the factory, so they know exactly how much it weighs. And I added that to the, uh, to the total additions that gives me 5,119 pounds, okay? So that's how much my trailer weighs ballpark going down the road, um, you know, as we're going to a campsite. Now, next thing that we have to do is find out our truck's cargo deductions. So this is gonna be going against your payload number, and this is where a lot of people end up getting caught because they're going over their payload, but they're not necessarily going over their tow rating, okay? So what you find out is in a lot of these modern trucks that have higher tow ratings, say, you know, 10,000 pounds, 12,000 pounds, um, that's specific to their vehicle, but their payload is only, you know, 1,600 pounds like my truck or, or less. I mean, there's quite a few trucks that have less uh, payload capacity. Um, you find that you run out of payload before you get to the max towing rating of your vehicle. This is why this information is important. So I've added a couple things to my to my truck. Uh, I've added a brush guard that's 133 pounds, miscellaneous cargo, so that's going to be everything that's in your glove box, in the bed of your truck, in the back seats. Uh, whatever you've added to your vehicle that's above and beyond that's not, you know, from factory, I have figured I have about an additional 100 pounds worth of worth of cargo in there between everything that I have. Uh, you have to add in your weight distribution hitch. That's again, payload onto the, onto the vehicle. Mine weighs hundred pounds. The passengers, so for me in particular, it's just my fiance and I, together we weigh about 315 pounds. And then you take your camper's hitch weight. So this is where I wanted to do that, that percentage, right? So I took the loaded weight of my camper, 5,119 pounds, times that by 10.6%, that gives me 443, I'm sorry, 543 pounds. Okay, so my total deductions on the truck here is going to be 1,191 pounds. I take that minus my payload, right? So you take your payload, I'm sorry, other way around. You take your payload, your 1596, minus your total deductions, 1,191 pounds, and that will tell you if you are within your payload rating of your vehicle. So this is kind of where my first question is, am I okay with payload? So you take your truck's payload, minus your total deductions. Yes, in my situation is yes, I have 405 pounds left over, okay? This gives me an idea as far as if I want to bring, you know, some family members or friends with my in my truck. I know how much more weight I can put in before I'm running the risk of going over on weight. Okay. The next question is: Am I within the gross combined weight rating on the truck with the camper loaded? This one is going to be important because insurance. If you get into heaven forbid, you get into an accident 
and they find out that you either overpay load or you're over your gross vehicle wage, whatever the case is, if you are overloaded, your insurance may not cover your claim. This is why this stuff is really important. So the way that you figure this out is you take the, you add the total additional weight to your car, your camper's cargo to its dry weight. I already did that. That's this number right here, 5,119 pounds. You then minus that number from your truck's gross combined weight rating. So I take my 12,800 pounds minus 5,119 pounds and you subtract your truck's loaded weight, loaded weight. So you have to add your curb weight plus your, your payload here. And you take that number off of the running total between your gross combined weight rating and your loaded trailer. So if I'm gonna do the math real quick here with you on camera, I look at so my trailer is 5,119 pounds uh, plus 4,904 pounds plus my cargo 1,191 pounds. That gives me 11,214 pounds total. That number is less than my gross vehicle combined weight rating. So in this, you know, are you within your limits of your truck? In my case, yes. I have 1,586 pounds left over, so I am well within the limits of my truck. Now the last question here is not something that everyone asks themselves, but I do just to err more on the side of caution. I'm one of those types of people that I don't like to max out my vehicles if I don't have to. It's one thing to do it every once in a while, but if you're going to be going to camping sites that are you know, several hours away on a regular basis, or if you're going cross country, I like to stay within that 80% towing rule. Um, so for me in particular, you know, am I exceeding 80% of my truck's towing capacity? Basically you take 80% of your truck's towing capacity and you compare that number against the loaded weight of your trailer. So in my case, am I exceeding 80%? No, I am not. 80% of my truck's towing capacity is 6,080 pounds, which is more than my camper's weight of 5,119 pounds. Okay, so those are all the numbers and really what I wanted to get at with this video. Um, when you start looking at, you know, answering that question, you know, can my truck tow this camper? Really, you need to sit down and do some math. And I know a lot of people out there, they already have the truck and they're looking at getting their first camper. Uh, and they're, it, it's hard to say, you know, whether or not what that weight of that trailer is going to actually be because they don't have it yet you know and that's and that's understandable what my advice to you would be is depending on the size of your family um, i would say by the time you add in you know your your kitchen utensils the tools that you're going to be using the food the clothes all the extra stuff you know you can kind of figure in like in my case here you know it's almost 800 pounds worth of stuff and it's just my fiance and i um, you know, adding kids in there and that kind of thing, you know, you can pretty easily say that you're going to be adding between 800 and a thousand pounds worth of stuff into your camper. So when you're looking at seeing if your truck can tow a certain camper when you're out in the marketplace, you know, take that dry weight, add on about a thousand pounds, and that'll give you a relatively accurate number. From there, you can do all your own manual calculations to make sure that your truck is capable of doing it. Now, I, I kind of put this together here. It's been about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Um, so I, I understand. Thank you for hanging in there. It's been a long video. Um, but, you know, it, it's good to know where you stand. And it gives you that peace of mind that you're not, you know, being illegal. Because, again, if, if you're overweight, whether it's, you know, payload or your combined weight rating or your vehicle's weight rating, um, you know, you start running into different legality issues. Uh, with the DOT plus with your insurance if you get into an accident you know so you just want to make sure that everything is the way that it's supposed to be and it's you're just doing it safely you know that's the main part is doing it safely I want everyone to get to their destination safe and sound and I wanted them to get back home again um, which is kind of why I'm making this video sometimes you see these 
trucks that are towing campers just way, way, way too big. And um, it really kind of makes you a little bit scared when you're out on the road. So that being said, I hope you found this this video informational. I um, hope you, you know, learned a couple of things here and there. If you have any questions, by all means, please list them down in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to address those. Um, and if you could do me a favor, if you could please subscribe to my YouTube channel and give it a thumbs up, I would greatly appreciate that. Again, thank you for hanging in there. I know this video is a little bit long in the tooth, but uh, to go through all of the weight ratings and how to calculate some of this stuff um, takes a little bit of time. So I'd rather invest, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes of my time to make sure that I'm, that I'm A-OK. -okay. So that being said, thank you again for hanging in there. I appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.